Hi guys, and welcome to another video. So Sunderland have finally, and now I mean finally, signed themselves a left back. Well, we needed a full back in general, but a left back. And what a left back we have signed here. We have signed 19-year-old Dennis Serkin from Tottenham Hotspur. Sorry, Hotspur. Jesus Christ, I'm that excited I can't talk. Tottenham Hotspur on a three-year deal. And I think we're starting to see a pattern now of what we're actually doing this transfer window. Of course, we've had to be very, very patient, but we're waiting for true quality that is going to actually improve our squad rather than just buying plays for the sake of it. Because, you know, the other day you could have seen, and a few people did get frustrated, that, you know, Ipswich was signing the left back, Hayden Coulson, from Middlesbrough. And we were waiting out, you know, we could have maybe gone for something like that. And I can see why people were getting annoyed, but you can see why now. This is what we're doing. We're waiting it out. We're being more patient. And we did have uh, Gallagher, the young left back from uh, Liverpool, down at, up, or up at the stage, I'm actually to say, up at the academy, like, apparently in talks with us. And last minute, we actually turned him away and said no to that deal because someone else, all this is rumours, but someone else had become available and it looks as though this was the deal that had become available Dennis Serkin who in the past you know he hasn't made any first team starts for Spurs but he's he's played pivotal roles within the youth squads he's been highly uh, impressive to the likes of Jose Mourinho you know Mourinho only a couple of seasons ago was saying that he's very very excited about him and, and his potential so he's definitely a lad who has got some you know some some quality on him and behind him he's got plenty of potential under being 19 years of age as well and to tie him down on a three-year deal I think that's absolutely fantastic as well and apparently it was for a six-figure fee looking closer towards a seven-figure fee as well so it's not like we're afraid of spending money we just only want to spend money on players that we genuinely believe will improve the squad and the future of the squad as well because again it's a young player and I'm not going to sit here and say that I've seen loads of him because I haven't but you've seen what we've got in the likes of Doyle where we, none of us knew anything of him really and I think you'd be lying if you made out that you had known a load about Doyle because there was only a couple of clips on the internet anyway of Doyle or unless you're a City fan you know but Doyle it was an un known entity and so far so good and I mean in abundance so far so good for Doyle who looks absolutely amazing he's on the on loan and we've gone out and got this left back on a three-year deal who's been touted to be you know the next best thing well maybe not the next best thing I'm probably getting a bit too excited but Jose Mourinho was very very excited by him but of course he's actually rejected a contract from Spurs not so long ago and he's decided to come to Sunderland so it just shows you know, he doesn't want to be sitting on the bench he has made a handful of appearances on the bench anyway for, for Spurs and he doesn't want that you know he's probably going to earn more money at Spurs but to do nothing you know he'll be in the youth squads or going in the bench he might get a couple of cup you know appearances here and there but the, the lad clearly has ambition he wants to you know, we're getting some first team football and he'll absolutely get it here with Sunderland. So we'll have a look at the statement from the club anyway. So the club have said Sunderland AFC is delighted to announce the signing of Dennis Serkin for an undisclosed fee. Arriving from Premier League outfit Tottenham Hotspur, the highly rated left back has penned a three year contract at the Stadium of Light. The 19 year old becomes SAFC's fourth signing of the summer transfer window following Alex Pritchard, Corey Evans, and Callum Doyle to Wearside. Born in Ireland, Sirkin moved to London at the age of three and he quickly rose through the ranks at Tottenham before being named in the Londoners' senior squad for the first time, aged 17. Described as a play with a lot of quality by former Spurs manager Jose Mourinho, the left-back will be eligible to make his debut on Saturday when the lads travel to MK Dons. After joining SAFC, Sirkin said, I'm delighted to be here. As soon as I got interest from Sunderland, it was a no-brainer. The fans, the stadium, the history, and I just thought the club was perfect for me. I feel like the head coach has a very good track record with young players, and I feel like this is a place that I can progress and develop my career. Lee Johnson added, to get a player of Dennis's quality at 19 speaks wonders in terms of what we're trying to do because he's a top talent and he's very highly regarded within the game. We have been really happy with the signings we've made so far and we will bank this one. But we will continue our work quietly and efficiently to try and get a couple more over the line. So as Lee Johnson says there, Sirkin is someone who's been highly regarded and is highly regarded as such a high potential player. So that's why it does shock me that he hasn't managed to get or he hasn't gone for maybe a championship move. We've really done this one quietly and efficiently. As Lee Johnson said, of course, on the over recent days, the rumour mill has been really escalating on this move, but it had, did kind of come out of nowhere. And I never expected it because, again, it's one of those players that over the last couple of years or so, you do hear about and you think, oh, that's going to be the next best thing. But now we say it's 
Sunderland, it's not like he's been cast away from Spurs. He turned down a deal because he wants first team football. So it's not like, you know, oh, well, he weren't good enough for Spurs. That's why he got thrown away. He didn't. He wants first team football and he wants it at the stage of light. And I absolutely love that. And those are the kind of players that we want. And he definitely will have the quality. I'm absolutely certain of it. And I hope to God I'm right anyway. But, um, but yeah, so it's a very, very good deal. And as Lee Johnson said there, he's still looking for another couple of additions. I genuinely think we do need a little bit more than a couple, but, you know, I think, of course, a full-back we need. Well, we need a right-back now. We need a left-back probably a bit more so than a right-back because I feel like Winchester, as of right now, is doing an OK job there. Whereas Dan Neal, although getting forward and linking up with the likes of Aidan McGeady, is looking very, very decent with his forward play. But defensively, it has to be said, he does look very, very shaky. And that's not his problem. You know, it's not his fault. He isn't a left-back. He's nowhere near a left-back. He's a central midfielder and a very good central midfielder is Dan Neal. So it'd be good to get him out of that position. But maybe Lee Johnson, you might look for one right back and then maybe he won't go for any more if he's only going for a couple more players. He might just rely on the fact that we do have a couple of central midfielders or we have players like O'Neill who could drop to right back, Winchester that can drop to right back. Dan Neal, he's obviously confident in him coming back to left back. And we have centre backs, you know, Flanagan at times. He's played on the left, which isn't my favourite position for Flanagan whatsoever, but he might be confident in that. We do have defenders coming back from injury eventually. Of course, Willis is a long term. Jamali has been out for pretty much a season. You know, he'll be coming back eventually, probably towards the back end of this year. I think that's the way it is. So we might be relying on those a little bit and just quite content with the fact that we do have midfielders that, that can be a bit more versatile and play the left or right back. So that might be the case. But I also think that, you know, I think we need. Um, another striker to, to compete with like so Ross Stewart. Um, I think in the centre of midfield or around that area, I think we're actually looking decent right now. You know, we've got plenty of there, uh, oh, sorry, plenty of ability there with the likes of, of course, we have Evans, uh, Luke O'Neill, Embleton can play there, Winchester can play there, Dan Neal can play there. They're just loads. Of course, Pritchard moved a bit further up. The wings, maybe, of course, you've, we've got the likes of Diamond, we have um, Ellis. Uh, McGeady, Gooch, so we're looking all right there as well. So it so it depends what Lee Johnson wants to do. Maybe we do only need a couple, and hopefully there will be very good signings and not just numbers. You know, I know a lot of fans, including myself, got very very frustrated for a very long time. And I think at the end of the day, we don't want us to panic buy because what's the point in just buying players that are probably less lesser than what we've already got? just so it looks like we've made a load of signings. It, it, you know, There's a lot of teams in this league that have bought uh, 12, 13, 14 players, and even though it looks exciting and it's exciting for the fans, it doesn't always pay off and it, you know, it takes a while for those players to gel and you know, it, it doesn't always work, essentially is what I'm saying. But I am very, very happy that Sunderland have got themselves a left-back because we didn't friggin' have one and what a left-back in my opinion, what a signing. Again, I haven't seen much or anything. Or of course, I've seen little clips of him in the, in the youth squads, but he's, he hasn't had any first-team football in the Premier League because he was with Spurs, of course. But can he do it at League One level? You would like to think so if someone like Jose Mourinho holds him in such high regard. So we'll have to see. But anyway, what do you guys think of the signing of Dennis Serkin? Let me know in the comments down below. But if you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button for me. It'd be massively, massively appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully-fledged member of the Sony Army. But for now, you take care and stay jamming.